Yo, what is up, guys? Mr. Oxygonald here from Oxygonald Gaming. Now, this is the final NBA 2K18 draft rebuild that I will be doing because the NBA draft is tonight, and I am very excited. There's not much I love more than the NFL and NBA drafts, mainly because my teams usually get high picks because we usually suck. But, uh, anyway, that's besides the point. We're going to be doing a Michael Porter Jr. Chicago Bulls rebuild. In my latest mock draft, I did have the Bulls drafting Michael Porter Jr. at number 7 overall. So, let's go over the team first. Uh, Chris Dunn, if he develops well, I'll keep him. If not, then I won't. Zach Levine, I'm probably going to trade because he's a free agent and he's going to ask for like a max contract. And even though he's really good, not looking to pay him a max contract. Lowry Markkinen is a player I would like to keep. Bobby Portis, probably going to trade. Probably just going to trade the rest of his roster, not entirely sure. But this is the big three that we're going to be working with. We're not really going to be working with Zach Levine, since we're going to trade him, so I guess this little big two. And then if we trade Chris Dunn, it'll be a big one with Lowry Markkinen. And of course, we will add Michael Porter Jr. The Bulls also have another first-round pick, which I believe in my mock draft I have them getting Aaron Holiday, the point guard from UCLA, the younger brother of Drew Holiday. So let's get this show on. I have traded Sean Kilpatrick, Cristiano Felicio, who are the only two players under contract, two second round picks, and our 2021 future first round pick to the 76ers for the number 10 and number 38 overall draft picks. I wanted to get some more picks so we can get some more good young players because this rebuild's not going to last till 2021, and Kilpatrick and Felicio aren't really part of the future. Okay, so I recorded who I drafted at rookie signings, but it didn't save. So we're just going to do it on this screen. With our first pick, Michael Porter was not on the board. So we went with DeAndre Ayton. We're just going to trade him for Michael Porter Jr. So we'll still have Michael Porter Jr. Why Ayton was on the board at 6, I don't know. With the 10th pick, we took Wendell Carter Jr. Mo Bamba was on the board, but I don't know if I've ever gotten Wendell Carter in a rebuild. So, got him. With the 23rd pick or whatever it was, we took the best player available, that was Zaire Smith. And with the second round pick, I wanted to draft and stash, so we got Isaac Bond. So after stage one of free agency, we signed Kawhi Leonard. Now, I just got him in the Magic Trey Young rebuild, so my plan with Kawhi is I'm going to trade him for some other good player, so that's the plan. Kawhi Leonard will not be the only player we sign. We're also going to sign Click Thompson. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure the contracts work. We've gotten him two times in a row, but we've traded him both times, so I might honestly just hold on to Clay Thompson this time. So we are going to make a huge trade. We are trading Kawhi Leonard, who of course we just had, so we don't want to have him two times in a row, as well as our first rounder next year. We're going to be good next year, so we don't need it that much. Zach Levine is on a big contract, Bobby Portis is on a big contract, and a second round pick to the Celtics for Kyrie Irving. So my plans with Chris Dunn is I'm either going to trade him or move him to shooting guard. Clay's going to play the three. Yeah, actually, I should trade Chris Dunn because we still got Michael Porter. We are trading Chris Dunn, our 2022 draft pick, and Denzel Valentine to the Celtics for Abel Nadir and the Sacramento Kings first round pick. The Kings are probably going to be bad, so that should be a good pick. I was able to sign Terry Rozier in free agency. We traded Rozier, two seconds, and Nadir to the Los Angeles Lakers for Kyle Kuzma. He's going to be a nice piece off of the bench. So I put Wendell Carter and Zaire Smith in the G League. I know that doesn't make the most sense because they both would contribute pretty nicely this season. But I want to make them even better for the next two seasons. I also signed Denzel Valentine just now from free agency. He was traded in one of the trades, I think, to get the Kings pick. But the Celtics actually cut him, so I figured I'd bring him back. So our rotation is Kyrie Irving, Clay Thompson, Michael Porter, Kyle Kuzma, and Larry Markkinen off the bench to Wayne Dedman, Jeremy Grant, Denzel Valentine, and Jerry Grant. I thought it'd be funny if I signed both of the brothers. So hopefully we, we win a chance. Season number one is in the books. Russell Westbrook averages a triple-double. DeAndre Ayton wins Rookie of the Year. I didn't make Michael Porter the scoring option, so his numbers may not be as spectacular as the other rookies in the rebuilds. Why didn't I? I? I forgot. That That's the reason. Miritich, six man. Giannis, DPOY. Jared Allen, most improved. Mike D'Antoni, coach of the year. Will we get any All NBA teams? LeBron always signs with the Nuggets. I don't know why. I don't know what's a, so appealing about the Nuggets, but I'm not, I'm not going to judge him. Paul George is on the Cavs now. Kyrie makes it all 13. That's good to see. Bulls. 
Porter make the all-rookie team? Yes, he did. 16 and 7 for not being the first scoring option. That's actually really good. And we didn't have Wendell Carter or Zaire Smith because they were both in the G League. Alrighty, in the first round, we're going to be playing the Sixers. I tried to make the Sixers worse since I knew they were going to be tough competition by getting that 10th pick. I also gave them Umar Ashik's contract. So this team looks pretty similar. They did add Chandler Parsons, uh, Derek Favors. It looks like they drafted Chandler Hutchinson with their late first round pick. Um, I think we should win in six. I'd say it's reasonable. That's not asking for too much, and we, we lose. That that is wonderful. That that's that's really wonderful. That Kings pick is projected number one overall. So draft lottery. Please don't hate me. Okay, the second pick. That's that's not terrible. Could have been the a lot. Second pick. I took the best player available, and that was Seku Domboya, with the intentions of trading him. I would have obviously preferred R.J. Barrett, but he did go number one overall. Bull Bull went 24th to the Pistons. Hopefully that happens in real life, but probably not. I'm going to be trading Domboya, a future, future first round pick, as well as a future second round pick, and Jerry and Grant to the Philadelphia 76ers for Joel Embiid. Embiid's going to start at center, Markkanen's going to slide to power forward, and Kyle Kuzma will come off the bench. Here's a look of a rotation for season number two, Kyrie, Clay Thompson, Michael Porter, Lowry Markkanen, and Joel Embiid. Off the bench, Wendell Carter, Kyle Kuzma, Dwayne Dedman, and Mike James. Zaire Smith will be staying in the G League for another year. I think that'll be really good when he comes in next year at like an 84 overall as the sixth man. I think he can be really good. At the good end for of season number two, we go 47 and 35, which is good enough for the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference. I don't know how we weren't better, but whatever. So in the first round, we are going to be taking on the New York Knickerbockers. And they, of course, led by Kristaps Porzingis. They added Eric Gordon. They drafted Miles Bridges with the ninth overall pick, averaging about 10 points per game in his career. So this team is pretty similar. They drafted Melvin Frazier in the second round, so I guess my mock draft prediction was right, because I did add them getting Melvin Frazier in the second round. And we win in five. Cool. Now the one-seeded Milwaukee Bucks, one of 2K's favorite teams. They drafted Alani Walker, added Patrick Beverly. Pau Gasol. So it looks like their depth is pretty different, but they still have the same core. Uh, I think we're better than them, but we're probably going to lose. And we lose because Tuke hates us. But I think next year we're going to be really good. Zaire Smith is an 86. Well, he's an 81 because he's pissed that he's been in the G League, but talent wise, he's an 86. I kind of wish I kept Wendell Carter in the G League, but it's fine. I need a backup point guard, so we traded a few scrubs and a future first round pick. To the New York Knicks for Tony Carr. He's a 78 overall, so I guess they've been putting him in the G League. So he's a pretty good backup. Here's a look at the team for the third and final season. I think this team should definitely win a championship. Kyrie, Clay, Michael Porter, Larry Markinen, and Joel Embiid off the bench. 86 overall, Zaire Smith, Wendell Carter, Kyle Kuzma, and Tony Carr. At the end of the season, we went 49 and 33. I don't get it because our team is stacked and 2K likes the Bulls. And Zaire Smith is still upset. That's strange. But in the first round, we're going to be playing the Brooklyn Nets. This should be an easy win. D'Lo batted. Buddy Heald. Vernon Carey. Justice Winslow. This should be an easy dub. Easy dubs. Light work. At most five games. At most. Well, that's more than five games. That's certainly more than five games. Alrighty, now we got the Cleveland Cavaliers. It looks like they've done fine without LeBron. Paul George and Colin Sexton leading them. They also have Larry Nance still, Clarkson, Tristan Thompson. They added Dwayne Dedman, Batum, Mac McClung. We should definitely beat them, and we sweep them. Boom. The four-seeded Indiana Pacers. Is this even a competition? We should easily beat them. Oladipo, Turner, Isaiah Thomas, Cameron Reddish, Kevin Knox. Okay, this team has actually gotten a lot better, but I think we should still beat them. The Warriors are the sixth seed. We're going to be playing the five-seeded Timberwolves, who I know don't have Jimmy Butler in the finals, because Jimmy Butler always signs with the Lakers. The Timberwolves added Steven Adams and Macal Bridges, and they got Chris Dunn back. That's on the stranger side, but we should beat them, and we do in five games. Kyrie Irving, finals MVP. Final look at the team, Kyrie, Joel Embiid, Clay Thompson, Michael Porter Jr., who, of course, this rebuild was the Michael Porter Jr. rebuild. 
Larry Markinen, Zaire Smith, Wendell Carter, Kyle Kuzma, and Tony Carr, and the players who didn't play, of course, the GOAT, Boban, Tony Parker gets another ring, even though he did nothing for us, Ursan Elias Sova, Shabazz Muhammad, and Rashad Vaughn. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.